Insert a little bit of do 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 the goop. Do 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 The recording has resumed. Yep. Alright. How shall he die? Or. Hmm. <laughs> How was the ice cream trip? It's good. Wow. Mm hmm. 99 cents. Alright, Burger Man, this is how you die. You're gonna learn soda's bad for you. <laughs> I, there was a leaf falling, and I thought that was like a cat jumping for a second. I got really <laughs> confused. <laughs> the way he throws it. Yeah. Oh my god, that's it! <gasps> you can pick it back up! Wow. What the hell? Okay, kill him with the bottle. He <laughs> 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 like hit him directly in the nuts. Yeah, he's ducking down. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like he's holding his head like I hit him in the head. <laughs> he gave him a concussion. Alright, now we have the Playboy X mission. I have to find a taxi to get over there quick. Um, the freaking, yeah, freaking the ice cream trip was nice. Oh, hey, it's a cop. And, yeah, not much else. Mm -hmm. I got vanilla and a waffle cone. I like the waffle cones. Mm -hmm. I haven't, um, actually, um, recently, um, we did get ice cream, those just chocolate shakes from Sonic. Yeah. It was pretty good. Freaking, uh, I've been eating a lot more stuff in general recently, which is good. And he's dead. <laughs> Oh my god, that mustard that's there. <laughs> Alright. I swear, the way the freaking burger stand looks. Alright, freaking The he, way it looks. He freaking despawned. <laughs> Can you just say how freaking weird it is? Like, why would you set up shop in front of a medical center? <laughs> in case anyone has a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. They throw up. It's right there. Come on, they're not gonna throw them shells up. <laughs> uh. I actually did find recently that ever since the movie kind of bombed, freaking Teen Titans Go has actually been declining in ratings. Wow. At least supposedly. I didn't even know the movie is so fond. Well, it only cost $10 million to make, and it made $50 million at the box office, which was a... which actually was kind of a success, obviously, even with, like, marketing, but Warner Brothers... not with what they were expecting? Yeah, Warner Brothers wanted $250 million. Jesus Christ. And it's like, up, I guess he can bomb. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Why? That is so out of nowhere. <laughs> the way he blew up like that. If he landed on the train track, that would have been amazing. <laughs> I swear the way he gets up. Freaking my god. So yeah, freaking. I was also looking at into like some shows that were still in the ma that I have in the marathons. Um, mm -hmm. I mean SpongeBob is SpongeBob, and freaking 
Um, you were talking about the Rugrats short before um, um, I had to leave. Were you going to say more about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, freaking... Like I said, uh, yesterday I was uh, uh, looking at Paramount Plus stuff. Uh, um, and I saw that there was a full-on, like, Rugrats short of the show. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like... Is really bleh. Well, the animation... Like, I don't know, I just... Oh, go on. What happened? Just go on with what you're going to say. It's mainly the main thing that I don't like about the intro is that the animation... Um, just in general, does not feel Rugrats at all. Well, that's the thing. Like, that's the switch to stupid CG animation because, you know, like all freaking modern animation defenders go, It's football! Like, for... Like, I don't really care if something's, like, 3D animated and stuff, but it feels like it's, like, trying really hard to be, like, a hello... Like, like a very hollow freaking, like... Like, that's what, the best way I could describe it. It's very hollow. Like, it's trying to present itself as Rugrats, but it's not. It's like it, watching a McDonald's toy or well, something. Well, yeah. Like, I don't know. Freaking, they keep proclaiming how, oh, the original actors are back. The original actors are back. But you didn't get any of the adults. And sure, uh -huh. they might try to justify by saying, yeah, some of them have passed away, and some of them have gotten too old, but there's some that were not that old at all, and wanted to come back, it's just they wouldn't let them. Uh-huh. The most glaring example is with Betty, because Betty, Phil and Lil's mom, she has the same actor as Phil and Lil, and the actor came back to play Phil and Lil, but not Betty. That's really weird. And then, of course, freaking, I remember, like, a year or two ago, like, the first announced returning actors were Cheryl Chase and Nancy Cartwright, who played Angelica and Chucky. Um, Nancy Cartwright was mm -hmm. not the original voice of Chucky. Um, the original voice of Chucky retired a long time ago, and she passed away. Um, Dang. so... But another actor who was said to be returning was Melanie Chartoff, who played Dee Dee. Mm -hmm. And literally just two days before they revealed all the new actors for the adults, Chartoff came said it, like on social media that she was never actually approached to do it. And that she was upset that they didn't. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, well... It's really stupid because there's even like a video on Paramount Plus showing the freaking like the Rugrats cast and all that, but not of any of the adults. Yeah, like the, Just the I mean, voices of the kids. Literally, I think they said the adults were not going to be much of a focus in the CG series, and that's another thing that's unfortunate because I mean, granted, not that they would do it good, but um, not that they would do it good. But that was one of the biggest parts of charm of the original series. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm not going to win at pool. I'm just doing it so Roman will like me. <laughs> and um, what happened is, I, I, I like just everything about the CG reboot. Literally, the only thing I could say I could like about it is if that Klasky Chupo actually does appear on the episodes. Oh. Yeah, freaking... Uh, uh, so far, just the can't... Uh, say that again? Like, the entire reboot so far feels very hollow. That's the best way I could describe it. And that's very... And it's a tragedy, because all the other, like, revival movies that Nickelodeon did, like, the other revival series is freaking... They kept the spirit of the originals. 
Like, for example, I think the Are mm-hmm. You Afraid of the Dark Best revival scene. One, in my opinion, was Invader Sim. Yeah, Invader Sim. I, re- I actually liked Hey Arnold quite a bit. Rocco was also fine. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I didn't watch it that much, but from. I think people in general like it, because here's the thing, I don't think it involves any of the... It might involve some of the original crew, but it has none of the original cast. Hmm. But at the very least, like, it does still capture the spirit of the original. Because, I mean, it's still live action, I guess you could say, and... Hmm. And I think, like, the second season went, like... The first season of the Are You Afraid of the Dark um, revival was kind of just like an original story. Like, it honestly felt more like freaking... Like, I've never seen Stranger Things, and I kind of refuse to watch it. But from what little I understand of Stranger Things, that's the best way I can describe Are You Afraid of the Dark revival's first season. But the second season, I believe, went back to, like, the original format, where it's, like, them sitting at the campfire telling stories. Wow. But, yeah, freaking... It's just stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, what they're doing to this with Rugrats. Yeah, like I said, if you... I watched the freaking one short, and it just felt really freaking pointless, the entire short, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I'm definitely going redneck. <laughs> freaking redneck. Also, today I... F- today I discovered... Yet another major change freaking happened to the never ending freaking Power Rangers series. What? So. Up, I sunk the cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened is, ever since, like, Saban Brands got the rights back from Disney, ever since then, the series has been airing new episodes on Nickelodeon. And, like, its sister mm-hmm. network, Nicktoons. That held true when the series was acquired by Hasbro. Except the thing is, just recently, one of the actors involved with the new series, according to him anyway, I'm not sure if it's accurate, apparently the current season that's airing, season one of the new series, um, Dino Fury, it will... Um, Oh my god, Roman sunk the eight ball and made me win. (laughs) Wow, are you kidding me? (laughs) But anyways, yeah, so season one of Dino Fury is airing on Nickelodeon. According to one of the Dino Fury actors, it will be its last. Wow. Because 2021 was the broadcasting deal that Saban Brands had signed with Nickelodeon. Like, basically, 2021 was the last year that was part of their deal. And, um, with... And Hasbro, of course, had to honor the deal, at which point they had the option of either renewing it or moving the series somewhere else. And Hasbro decided to go somewhere else. Wow. Um, supposedly season two will be streaming exclusive. It will be on Netflix. Hmm. In fairness, Nickelodeon has done the series a bit more harm than good. Yeah. Because, number one, Nick- because Nickelodeon's the freaking Spongebob network, they- their airing schedule- is with the series, just like all their other series that are not Spongebob and Loud House, um, their scheduling of the series is very erratic. Huh. And That's also, I mean, you know with, like, the seasons I've shown you in the marathons, like, the older seasons, they were not, like, each series would not be split into two seasons. I mean, except for the Mighty Morphin series. But, like, each series was, like, a single, like, 40-episode season. Because that because the Sentai seasons are, yeah. like, 50 episodes and, like, 40 episodes lets them make the most of, like, the footage. Well, 
Nickelodeon told them, no, 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 you're not doing 40 episode seasons. You ha we only allow 20 episodes a season. So it got split into two. Yeah, ever since they, the series started airing on Nickelodeon, they've had to, every time they make a new series, they to get the normal 40 episodes, they have to split it into two. That's stupid. And this has had the side effect of causing the series to fall further and further behind the Sentai, which is still an annual thing. Mm-hmm. And apparent another thing that people don't like of the Hasbro seasons is that the theme songs are a lot shorter. And while, of course, freaking. Another problem with the theme songs is they're all just remixes of the Mighty Morphin theme, and freaking. In regards to that, the producers gave the Tommy Wiseau excuse, where they say, But we have to play the Mighty Morphin theme, or this show won't sell. Uh, after mm -hmm. freaking more than 10 years where the show did just fine without it. And. Mm -hmm. But no, in regards to the shortened theme song, they admitted they didn't want to do it, but Nickelodeon forced them to because Nickelodeon wanted to make just 20 seconds more room for fucking ads. That's stupid. So yeah, freaking assuming the series doesn't die after Dino Fury Season 2, I'm guessing Netflix is its new home. Huh. Well, I hope that freaking Netflix at least allows for a lot more freedom when it comes to that shit. I mean, odds are they might even allow the 40 episode, single 40 episode seasons to come back, but eh, we'll see about that. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, by now they've probably gotten used to the freaking 20 episodes a year thing, so I don't know. Yeah. No, freaking, uh,. I found another instance of really stupid, uh, like, executive meddling. Yeah. Um, it was actually with Halo 2, oh, um, because no. I was just looking at oh, a bunch of random Halo are stuff. you going to talk about how, apparently, frick, you're going to talk about the abrupt ending that was the infamous... No. No? Um... I'm actually going to talk about freaking the composer, Marty O'Donnell, who oh. made the first three Halo games music. Um, so he made the first three Halo games soundtrack pretty much, like a lot of the original score. I mean, obviously more people worked on it, but Marty O'Donnell is like the biggest ex like one, right? Yeah. Apparently when, um, because he worked at Bungie, um... Around when Halo 2 Anniversary came out, he was working at, on Destiny. He was working on like the soundtrack and all that on Destiny, right? So he's still with Bungie. Huh? And, yeah, and he was stuck, uh, um, you know, with the whole Sony exclusivity stuff, and Halo 2 Anniversary is coming out. Yeah, and a lot of the a lot of his like coworkers and stuff who worked at Microsoft ended up being tasked with. Creating Halo 2 Anniversary's remastered soundtrack. Oh, so yeah? they had to. Yeah, so they literally had to work on remastering all, all of his compositions, right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's the stupid thing about this mm -hmm. um, Microsoft told the team at 343 Industries that they could not contact Marty O'Donnell at all about it. They were all like contractors and stuff so they literally could not talk to Marty like they sp like Microsoft specifically told them like you are, you are not allowed to tell anybody about the remastering of this soundtrack mm -hmm. not even Marty himself and because of that um, they had to literally rework the entire soundtrack from scratch they did not actually have the like files and the actual composition and like sheet music and shit for it because of this, there are actually aspects of the music that are, like, missing because of that. Because wow. they basically were strict on time, and they couldn't make it 100% faithful. And both the team who worked on the music and Marty O'Donnell himself was pretty upset at that, so... And when 
ever freaking they start using the original Halo theme and stuff, it's very weird because he's never contacted about the use of his compositions anymore and stuff like that. They just kind of. I mean, that's what fucking entertainment industry is. Like, what fucking... My original career choice is going into freaking... Going into this fucking industry, and I'm fucking glad I didn't. Oh, there we go. Freaking Skype. My wife hit broke there for a second. Oh. Well, all I was saying was freaking this fucking entertainment industry working like in video production. That was my fucking original career choice. And mm -hmm. I'm just fucking more and more grateful that I never, I didn't end up in it. Yeah, there's a lot of really stupid bullshit. Apparently, literally the only reason why Microsoft said that was because of the animosity between them and Bungie at the time. Because <laughs> that also a nice role. <laughs> fucking Nico doing that freaking... <laughs> <laughs> freaking parkour role for no reason. Yeah, that freaking parkour role. Um, freaking... <laughs> It reminds me of one time in my high school, we were in health class, some guy asked to leave so he can use the bathroom, um, and what happened was, freaking, he was gone for much longer than he was supposed to be, so freaking, eventually, freaking, he was peeking at the door, like, where the teacher couldn't see him, and, like, some of the kids, like, kind of saw he was there, and they were laughing, of course, Eventually, mm -hmm. he tried to see if he could sneak past the door, so he tried to do this ninja roll past the door, except he made such loud thuds on the floor <laughs> that we saw him. Oh my god, that's stupid. <laughs> freaking, that's almost as dumb. I have an example that's freaking really stupid. Freaking in middle school, I think 7th grade. Freaking, we were in tech class, and this was like the first day, and we were waiting for the teacher to arrive. For some reason, he wasn't there. Like, mm -hmm. He was gone for like 20 minutes or something. And one of the kids ended up getting really, really bored. And there was this empty table in the middle of the room for no apparent reason, just there. And this kid thought it'd be a good idea to run and slide on the table. And... Freaking the kids like talking about like joking about it for like 10 minutes and teacher just wasn't showing up like just straight up not showing up also oh my god <laughs> mm -hmm. but anyways freaking get uh so he literally decides all right i'm gonna do it so he goes all the way in the back of the classroom starts running jumps lands on the table doesn't slide anywhere table breaks and then the teacher walks in immediately and sees everything <laughs> and literally his first word was really on the first day oh my god it was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life actually <laughs> oh my god this freaking mission right now yep Freaking, I remember my social studies teacher I had in 11th grade who was U.S., we did U.S. history. She was a really tough grader, but she did care about everybody. In fact, freaking, she, um, she enjoyed talking with me. And, like, even when I was graduating, she was at, like, our practice ceremony. I even joked, take care of my sister for me. And she's like, oh, I will. Wow. Um... Um, what happened was, she had a plush of Scrappy from fucking Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I remember this story. Yeah, I know about this story. <laughs> Freaking, yeah. Like, I guess a student gave it to her and she just liked having it. Freaking, sometimes when we were in class before she came in, um, she... 
like some kids would one kid would like grab the scrappy plush off her desk and they like pass it to each other and usually it would end up in the hands of like this big guy who usually came, was wearing like hiking boots and like had a sweatshirt on um mm. one time the first time it happened he came he left the classroom with the scrappy plush and when he came back in, the freaking he had the plush sticking out of the sweatshirt, like it was like hanging like on his neck, like the head. And he comes back in doing like this swaying walk, like he's like on a freaking runway, like on a stripper runway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And yeah, freaking. <laughs> And what happened was, freaking, eventually she came in, she'd start teaching the lesson, and then she would, on, like, the second day it happened, which was, like, the day after, freaking, she saw, <laughs> um, she saw him putting in his shirt, she said, come on, get my dog out of your shirt. Like, she would always just, like, she would always just say, call the scrappy plush my dog. <laughs> my dog and the kids res the guy's response was oh come on miss he's warm in here he's a warm in here what the hell <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weird response <laughs> and the funny thing is when I told my sister that story she actually laughed at the he's warm in here part but not a separate story <laughs> where this guy decided it was a good idea to climb out the window Oh my god. <laughs> Climb out the window. He literally climbed part way out of the window to where his legs were flailing around like in the back. Uh, like in the classroom. I mean, wow. we, we were on the first floor, so it's not like he was dangling for life, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so... Yeah, freaking... Then, like, a little while out, like... A little, <laughs> yeah. Freaking anytime he did that, just the the way it looked was freaking hilarious. Up oh, there goes the rag doll. Wow. Freaking the way this game looks, I swear to God. Mhm. Mm Excuse me. I'm probably gonna have to go and. Eat. Um, pretty soon. I'm gonna go and check on the food now to see, to give yeah. an estimate. So, I mean, when you right go, back. when you go eat, I could probably take the dogs. Yeah, I'm gonna go check what the food's doing right now, and I'll be back. Okay. Alright, let's go. My god, the way that kill went. The way he fucking clipped through. I, I just got back. What just happened? He clipped through the freaking bridge and died. 
Oh my god. I barely missed that. I just <laughs> heard you scream, like, from the headphones, and I put it on. Uh-huh. Freaking, where is this guy? Oh my god. Did he run? No, he, <sighs> he couldn't oh have. Where is he? Oh god, the way you climbed up the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, food's probably not gonna be done for like 20 minutes or something. Oh, that's good. Freaking, that'll be the perfect time to take the dogs. Mm hmm. Freaking. Freaking Yeah, there he is. This reminds me of the freaking. This construction reminds me of freaking Spider Man PS4, the freaking demo. Yeah. I'm gonna call a video after this phone call. Mm hmm. Okay, saving. Alright. 